Jamie Dimon, very bullish about the U.S. economy, the global economy even, and saying that those stimulus payments are a big reason why. Do you agree with Jamie Dimon on his bullish stance? And do you also feel like this deficit spending is OK as long as it leads us to a recovery? I think what we've seen is that forecasts and expectations have been revised significantly higher as the virus has increasingly been controlled, vaccinations have picked up speed, but predominantly because of the trillions of dollars in spending that has been already allocated into the economy, the trillions more that are expected to come down the pipeline. So essentially, to his point, we're creating this perfect equation for short-term robust growth. Essentially, you have businesses at this point, very willing, very able to open and welcome back customers, and you have a consumer base, a, a stimulus-fueled consumer base, anxious and willing to go back out and continue to spend. So this certainly does create, uh, again, the perfect equation for very robust growth near term, but we do have to consider the long run consequences when we're talking about a massive expansion of the government's balance sheet, which, while the Fed may not be concerned about inflation in the near term, in the longer run, there has to be inflationary uh, implications that we do have to consider and that we should be concerned about. Maureen, the uh, president uh, has said that he has not spoken to the Fed chair, I guess, since taking office. Uh, but that doesn't mean that the administration isn't coordinating with in contact with the Fed, does it? And I think that's what we've seen in the prior administration and now in this one, is a coordination of efforts between Treasury and the Fed that we really hadn't had before. And in the last administration, it was much more vocal, much more public. In this administration, it's much more private in that it's more Yellen and Powell, in a sense, uh, coming together. But I definitely see a shift and a change in this kind of policy, and we'll see where that leads us. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.